So what happens if a patient has this condition? What if they reduce or stop their antidepressant too quickly? What happens? So when they have stopped their antidepressant too quickly, symptoms will often occur within two to four days. So it can be even quicker than that. It may be 24 hours, but oftentimes it's within two to four days. Most often symptoms are going to be mild, but they can be severe in some cases. And the symptoms that are going to occur with this condition are going to be remembered by the mnemonic finish. So the word finish is a mnemonic to help us remember the categories of signs and symptoms that can occur with this condition. So F is for flu-like symptoms, I is for insomnia, N is for nausea, I is for imbalance, S is for sensory disturbance, and H is for hyperarousal. Now we're going to get into more specific detail in each of these categories in the next slide. So with regards to the flu-like symptoms in this condition, patients will often experience malaise, so a general feeling of being unwell. They can feel lethargic, they can have fatigue, they can experience a headache, general achiness, and sweating. So they can feel generally unwell, as if they're coming down with a flu. Insomnia is also another very common finding in patients who experience this condition. So oftentimes they can have difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep. And then what's often found in these patients is that they can have very vivid or strange dreams or nightmares. So oftentimes patients will report having very odd dreams. Patients can also experience nausea, and this nausea can be severe enough to lead to vomiting in some cases. Patients can also experience imbalance. So imbalance can either be presyncope, so they can feel like they can almost faint, feel a little bit lightheaded, they can feel dizzy, or they can experience vertigo where the room itself is spinning. Sensory disturbances can also occur in these patients. So paresthesias can occur in certain parts of their body, so they can have shocks or tingling or burning sensations in different parts of their body. And they can also feel some odd sensations of feeling numb and some other sensations as well. And then they can also experience hyperarousal. So hyperarousal is going to most commonly include anxiety and agitation. So they feel on edge. They can feel irritable as well. And they can be more aggressive than usual. And these symptoms are often going to last for one to three weeks, although they can last even longer. They may last months to upwards of a year in some patients. So this can be very, very severe for some patients and can be mild for other patients. So it can have a varied intensity and experience depending on the patient and the dose and the medication.